So we are given that the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared, which is 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared, is pi squared over 6. And we want to find the alternating version of this series, 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared, and so on. Now I see the even terms are being subtracted, 2, 4, 6, 8, and the odd terms, 1, 3, 5, are being added. So maybe we can take this original series, split it up into the even and odd terms, and figure out what they each equal separately. Then we can just take the odds minus the evens to get to our answer. The reason that works is that this series is absolutely convergent, meaning that if you take the absolute value of each term and add them up, it still converges to a finite value. That means that we are allowed to play around with the sums a little bit and add and subtract things to get to the right answer. So let's start out by writing out these terms. Now first we have the odd terms. So 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 5 squared, and so on. And then we have the even terms. But what we notice about the even terms, if we have 1 over 2 squared. We can write that as 2 squared times 1. Then 1 over 4 squared would be the next even term. Well, 4 squared, we could take out a 2 squared, and we would be left with a 2 squared still there. The next even term would be 6 squared. If we took out a 2 squared from 6 squared, we would have 3 squared left. And we could do this forever. And what we notice about this is we have the odd terms over here. And then we also have these. We can factor out 1 over 2 squared from each one of these. And that's 1 over 4. What do we have left? We have 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared. The next term will be 1 over 4 squared, and so on. And we know this. This is just pi squared over 6. So if we look at this, first of all, we know the sum of all the even squares is going to be pi squared over 6 times a fourth, which is pi squared over 24. And then we know that plus all the odd squares is going to give us our original answer up here of pi squared over 6, which means we can solve for the odd squares as well. If we just subtract pi squared over 24 from each side, we get that the sum of the odd squares inverses is equal to, well, pi squared over 6 is 4 pi squared over 24. So if we do 4 pi squared over 24 minus pi squared over 24, we get 3 pi squared over 24. And we'll leave it like this for now. It's time to solve our original problem. So if we go over here, the sum of these alternating squares, we have 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 5 squared and so on. But this time, instead of adding the even terms, we're subtracting the even terms. So we have minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 6 squared and so on. And we know each of these values. The sum of the even squares is pi squared over 24. And the sum of the odd squares is 3 pi squared over 24. So we have 3 pi squared over 24 minus 1 pi squared over 24. This is going to give us 2 pi squared over 24, which is pi squared over 12. And that means that our original sum, 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared, and so on to infinity, is equal to pi squared over 12.